The XLOOKUP function in Excel is a formula with which you can look up values across a table in Excel. So in this example we are selling Apple products and now based on the kind of item we want to get to know in which store we are selling it and in which product group it belongs to. And by the way just a side note, the XLOOKUP function is way more powerful than VLOOKUP so you might want to use it instead. The first thing we have to do is to type in equals x lookup and then the opening bracket and now the first function argument we have to pass is the lookup value. And since we are looking for the MacBook Air 13 inch, this cell here is our lookup value. And now we have to pass the lookup array. The lookup array is basically the set of data in which we can find this item type here. So in this example, it is the column D of the table. And then the next function argument is the return array. And since we want to get to know in which store our item is being sold, the return array is the store column. And actually, as you can see, we not only want to know in which store it is being sold, but also which product group it is in. And therefore, we not only select the column A as the return array, but rather column A and column B. And now, when we type down the closing bracket and hit the enter key, you can see MacBook Air 13 inch, which is down here is being sold in the online store and it belongs to the product group MacBook. And by the way, I implemented a drop down menu here. So now we could, for example, also select the iPhone 13. And then we can see iPhone 13 is being sold in the store Chicago and is from the product group iPhone. And if you want to know how to create such drop down menus, simply click into the video description. There you will find the link. So just to do a quick recap how XLOOKUP is working, we are first of all searching for our lookup value in our lookup array. So we go into this selected data set and here we search for iPhone 13, which is in row five. And then we are actually moving into the return array, which are column A and B, and we are returning the values from the same row. And by the way, XLOOKUP is not only working with data sets which are oriented vertically, but also if you would have data sets which are oriented horizontally. And that's it for this video. If it helped you, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also to hit the like button. Thank you very much and I see you in the next one.